Hey guys, it's Mayman and Action. Bring guys some more Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. In the last part, we helped Etamon defeat that annoying guy known as Jimmy Ken. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to do seven, seven main missions. They are known as the Great Challenges. And all of them are from Mire Mikagura. And basically, I believe in the last part, I don't know if I showed this off, but Mire, she basically created copies of the royal knights and to show our strength to show that we are worthy to save the world uh, in the future chapters we have to complete them so and we have to beat them for a second time so yeah uh the reason this this part is a bit different from other parts uh i think i've done post commentary parts before i think i did it with not that long ago actually <laughs> in a couple of parts beforehand and uh, this part is post commentary also I'm not actually playing the game I'm watching it with you uh, the reason why I'm doing that is because a lot of these fights a lot of these a lot of these uh, missions are just boss fights and they're very long and so you're gonna see me speed through them using uh, post production uh, the reason why is because a lot of the fights we've done before um, a lot of the Digimon have kind of the same, they, they have the same kind of attacks and the same kind of moves as we've done them before. Uh, there's a couple of Digimon we, there's a couple of the Royal Knights we haven't fought off against. But a lot of the early ones we have, so that I decided to just speed them up because, um, those, those fights are actually really, really long. And cutting them down and speeding them up was, was the best way I could do it. In my opinion, anyway, uh, I did do this live at first, but then I realized how boring the commentary was, so I decided just to do a post cup to commentary. But anyway, Mire says that basically she's going to test our skills and uh, make copies of all the uh, legend of all the royal knights, and uh, each one is going to give us a pretty decent prize. Uh, for each one you fight and beat, you get to. Uh, get to you access that digimon in all the you access you have the ability to digivolve your previous digimon into that digimon so for example if you have uh if you have a greymon and a, a black a greymon and a war greymon and a guru uh metal gurumon you can with i believe the last one the great challenge 7 you can unlock the digital evolution for omnimon and i'm going to show that off in in the next part if if i get to that part <laughs> i'm recording the next part right now i'm actually doing the dlc missions man my god the dlc missions oh there's some hard they're hard like they are hard if you are not ready for those dlc missions it is oh man i'll get to that when i get to it but anyway our first fight on the great challenge one is magnamon and rapidmon armor now, Magnamon is the Digimon we fought before. Rapidmon is not. Uh, Rapidmon basically acts like the cleric of the two. He's going to be the one that is going to be boosting them. He's going to use uh, uh, skills like attack charge field, guard charge field, and intelligence charge field. And Magnamon is going to be the going to be the base damage healer. He, uh, we fought them before and. At the beginning of the fight, I decided to do uh, something that I learned. Something that I learned by reading the guide was by using, I believe, character reversal and changing their typing uh, in order to gain the upper hand. In in the end of it, I decided to just skip out on that uh, tactic and decide to just go full power. Uh, these fights can get pretty long, so that's why I'm speeding them up. Uh, otherwise, this fight would have been around 10, 20 minutes, and there was no way I was going to let you guys sit through that. Uh, I sat through that. It was boring. But anyway, this is probably one of the easier fights of the uh, of the many fights to come in, the, in, today's, in today's part. Um, uh, I decided to deal with uh, Rapidmon first, because that is the Digimon that is uh, going to do the... Where he's gonna be boosting a lot, of, a lot of the time, and also on top of that, uh, Magnamon doesn't really have any weaknesses. Uh, he is Earth attribute, so I believe they're weak to Wind attribute moves, but I don't have 
any Digimon that are that do kind of decent wind damage, uh, aside from um, aside from what's the Digimon I'm thinking of? Uh, shit. I can't believe you forgot. Mirage Gagamon. There we go. Uh, Mirage Gagamon, of course, is win attribute. Uh, he's going to be the one that's going to do the most damage. But for the most part, I just use the the tactic of get Greymon, get Greymon, Metagurumon, and Drago on the field. Use Guard Charge Field, Attack Charge Field, and I don't think I have Speed Charge Field on uh, Gurumon. But I just use those three for the most most part. But later on, I use uh, stronger Digimon. But for the for the most part, at the, at the beginning, I decide to just use uh, those those three because that's that's the easiest one. That's the easiest uh, strategy I could come up with because the guide that I saw on GameFAQs had some ridiculous way of doing it and with Digimon that I did not have. So I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna outpower all these Digimon up. Um, Anyway, on hard mode, uh, these Digimon have way more health than they normally would, and they also have uh, more. They also do more damage, and they also like give you more. They don't give you more experience; they give you more money. Uh, you can switch to hard mode whenever you want. Uh, I tend to do that when I'm grinding just to get more money out of it, because yeah, it, it can be useful if you want. But right here, I decided to give up on the uh, strategy I had beforehand of using Numemon and character reversal. And I just decided to leave him at home and bring a bunch of Numemon with me. Anyway, our next destination is none other than, I believe, the Te Tokyo Metropolitan Building. This is where we, I think, we climbed this place in order to fight Le Leopardmon uh, beforehand. Uh, in the last, no, in a couple of parts ago. Anyway, uh, anyway, this is the fight with Leopardmon. He isn't that different from his first fight. He's gonna have this. He's gonna start with destabilizing stance and assault stance. Both increase his agility. And if you don't know what agility does, it basically allows you to dodge moves. Uh, the more he does it, the the more likely he's going to be judging, uh, dodging the moves. But considering a lot of the Digimon, they have moves. They have ability. They have basically the ability to, uh, they, they all have, I think their, most of their, uh, special moves, uh, their kind of, not their inherited skills, but their other types of skills, uh, they're all 100% accuracy, so you're never gonna really not hit this thing. Uh, I get rid of him pretty easily using, uh, uh, w Black War Greymon's, uh, second move, I believe, Black Tornado. Which does a lot of damage. It does about a thousand, which is pretty decent. It got it down to like two thirds of its health with one hit, which is fantastic. And also increased uh, its attack power using um, Drago's uh, attack charge field ability. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Leopardmon is was oh yeah, Leopardmon was also data type, and he was holy type. So he was taking three times more damage from. Uh, Black War Greymon's attack. Uh, he also has another ability which basically uh, makes you helpless. Uh, helpless is a is a stat which basically stops you from using combo combo attacks, so you won't be able to link up uh, your attacks. But most of the time, uh, Leopardmon is really fast, so the likelihood of your Digimon linking up for combo attacks is very small. But anyway, this is the first fight that gave me any real. Uh, amount of trouble we have Kentorismon and Craniumon they are in Kowloon level 5 uh, where we fought Craniumon that one time but anyway Kentorismon is easily the most dangerous Digimon on the field right now uh, that Digimon will keep getting faster and faster and faster and faster to the point where he will have next to three or four turns to just do whatever he wants and it is it just it's ridiculous uh, he also will lower your intelligence and he will also lower your uh, speed as well to make himself more faster as well. And Craniumon himself, I'll talk to him, in, I'll talk about him in a bit. But in terms of Kentorismon, he'll use not here at the beginning of the battle. 
and not here when he says not here he's gonna he's, he's gonna to increase his speed then he's got his two main attacks which are odin's breath which hit all the digimon but also has the ability to make one of your digimon go to sleep and he also has uh by frost which is a single target move uh does decent amount of damage uh, for this battle, I decided to use uh, Drago, Mirage Gagamon, and Metal Seedramon because I want to get rid of Kentorismon as early as possible. Because I really do recommend you do that because he is—he's going to do a lot of damage. He's—he has a lot of turns, as you can see. He—he—he he, he has three turns in a row, which are which is ridiculous in my opinion. Um, then on top of that, I might as well explain what Craniumon can do. Craniumon has its main attack. Which basically leaves it helpless and lowers its intelligence, I believe his attack and its defense. That's when you attack him. It, that's I recommend attacking him when he uses that attack. Because otherwise, uh, he has a lot of defense. He can boost his defense up. I believe he has defense charge field, I believe. Uh, that allows him to increase his defense. He also has an ability which makes him invincible. Uh, no matter what move you use, he will not take any damage from that move. It's very, very difficult to deal with. But what I recommend is just uh, use that time, boost up your Digimon with different kind of statistic abilities, and then uh, just hit him with everything you got afterwards. Because after, for a short time, I think about three turns, uh, when he uh, he is no longer invincible, you can uh, hit him... For free damage because he can't actually hit you at that point. But anyway, now that we're done with Craniumon, with Krentorismon, we deal with Craniumon, and that's going to be the end of the battle. Uh, he doesn't do a lot of damage. He's not very fast as well. So if you can, if you have any Digimon that have Speed Charge Field or anything like that, I recommend doing that. Uh, a lot of these Digimon are weak to the bug uh, statistic, and the buzz and the bug ability basically stops basically can it's it swaps your st your your stats not your stats your typing and your element so for example if you were virus you'd be a vaccine and if you're vaccine you'd be data and if you but data you become a virus type and such and such and such uh yeah so that's gonna be it for cranium one uh, and the, I believe the second great challenge. Next up, there is the next great challenge, if I can get it up fast enough. Uh, next great challenge, great challenge four. Uh, the next Digimon is, uh, I believe Dinosmon and Crusadermon. These two, ah, these two. Or am I wrong? I don't know. But anyway. I believe, yeah, I show off. I show off now that I can digivolve uh, Mirage Gagamon into Mirage Gagamon Burst Mode. Da -da -da -da. Burst Mode is so so cool. <laughs> Look, I love its design for this. I believe this was a this was a new edition. Burst these Burst Mode um these Burst Mode evolutions. I believe they were added in a, in a patch recently. I don't know because I downloaded the I downloaded the I got the game day one, but I'm not sure if the patch. Uh, got downloaded uh, on day one because I'm, I'm pretty sure it was day one thing. But anyway, now that we're able, to, we're able to both digivolve both Mirage Gagamon to its burst mode and Shine Greymon to its burst mode, and which changes I believe Shine Greymon to fire attribute, which is nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, these I think they have they have way stronger base stats and they have way stronger um, special moves. Uh, to them, which is cool. Anyway, uh, I believe now I leave the Digilab, and uh, I, I give in the uh, no. I, I we got a new case to be added. Great challenge for. Uh, this is the one that gives you Chrome Digizoid. I think that you can sell that for a ton of money because it's really rare. Uh, you get about thousand or ten. No, you get ten thousand. Hmm. 
Yeah, you get about 10,000 from it or 100,000. I don't know. Uh, the, the thing about these these tests, these uh, great challenges, you always have to go back to Mire. She tells you where to go. I would just like it if the if the description would tell you where to go instead of uh, all of that. But anyway, uh, you can locate these uh, two Digimon, Dinosaur and Crusader Mon, in the uh, in the Roppongi Lab, which is uh, at the end of Nakano Underground. Alright. First off. I might as well explain Dinosmon first. Dinosmon is no different from what he was when we fought him the first time. In uh, the Tokyo Metropolitan Building. Uh, his two special skills are Waven's Breath and Dragon's Roar. Waven's Breath is all your Digimon for wind damage. And uh, he will also use lose 20% of his HP. So he's actually taking damage every time he uses that move. So that can benefit you a lot. Then there's Dragon Roar. Which uh, can absorb 50% of the damage of, as, H, as HP for Dynasmon. Uh, it's a very, I think it's about 10% likelihood of doing that. Uh, it hits one of your Digimon twice as fire damage. So the absorb HP might become massive. So he can heal himself on top of that. So he's got his two special moves kind of ba balance each other out. Uh, Dinosmon is easy. It's he's really easy to beat. I recommend taking him out first because he's the easiest one. I take him out pretty quickly actually. But Crusadermon, this bitch, <laughs> even in death, she haunts me. My God, she is ridiculous. Number one, she can heal herself. Number two, she's got his move known as Fist. Of Athena, this can one shot your Digimon. Anyone, it can do 2500 to 4000 damage. You don't have them at that point in the game, you don't have that much health unless you're level 99. And I wasn't level 99, so this bitch was killing my Digimon every time she used that move. And she loves to spam it, she loves to spam it. Her other move is Spiral Masquerade. It doesn't do that much damage. It, it it will increase her speed. That's that's mostly what she what she likes to do. She likes to increase her speed. Uh, she likes to have free uh, <laughs> free free attacks in one turn, which suck. <laughs> and she easily gave me the uh, hardest time. She says sweat, beautiful sweat, which increases her attack and her intelligence. Uh, not in not in intelligence, sorry. It increases her um her agility as well, which uh is annoying, but I was able to deal with it in the end. Uh yeah, she can heal herself as well, which sucks as well and my gosh she Yeah, and a fist of a female can also stun the target if it if can survive the attack. Ah oh, man, she does a lot of damage, Crusader Moon, so I recommend dealing with her. Um, if you want to deal with her first, go ahead, but I recommend dealing with Dynasmon first because having, because he's the easiest one to deal with overall. Next up is Examon. We've dealt with Examon before. Uh, it's the same kind of weakened Examon we've seen um, multiple times before. I actually have Examon right now in my party. Uh, I'm currently doing the the uh, DLC missions and uh, I was doing some grinding in between parts and I got myself an Examon as well. I think my Examon's a lot smaller than this one though. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's not much different from the last part. Of course, he does have Dragonic Impact which basically swaps out all your Digimon out. I go with my uh, tried and trusted method and just using Black War Greymon as the main attacker in this in this one because of course uh, his attack, uh, what's the move I'm thinking about, uh, Black Tornado uh, does, uh, I think it pierces through the fence, uh, defenses and just does tons of damage so I recommend hitting him with that. Other than that he has Pendragon's Glory which does, a, does decent damage. Of course, there's Ambrose of Demise, which increases the uh, critical by 10% or 20%, I think. Uh, uh, don't worry about that. Examon isn't really that difficult. Of course, it's a data type, so it's weak to virus type Digimon. So that's why this, this method I'm using right now, you're seeing, is tried and tested and does a lot of damage. 10,000 HP, damn. In the hard mode, he has 48,000 HP. That's decent. Anyway, um... Around the 50% mark, 
uh, he will use Dragonic Impact, which is pretty easy to deal with. I mean, you can just switch back into your Digimon after he causes a knockback, and uh, he's not really that difficult, to be honest, uh, considering that he's considered the strongest uh, uh, Royal Knight, even though he wasn't really the, the hardest battle. But anyway, after that one, I believe this was Great Challenge 5. We're on to Great Challenge 6, so we're already near the end of this. Yay. Uh, the next two are Gankumon and Jessmon, both data type Digimon. Uh, Gankumon is fire attribute and Jessmon is neutral attribute. Um, you get their metal, you get their medals as drops if you defeat them, all the, uh, uh Royal Knights. So, and you get a, you get a hundred thousand yen. Damn. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Ooh, you get an exciting meat, a best meat, and a miracle meat. Miracle meats are super rare, so I recommend holding on, holding on to them unless you really need them. Anyway, uh, are we at the Jessmon fight yet? We're not. We have to go, I believe, to the Demon's Den. I was actually lost for a little bit because I didn't know what the Demon's Den was because we hadn't been there for a while. But it's in Eden, so yeah. Um... Anyway, Jessmon and Gunkumon. Uh, in terms of this fight, it's not really that difficult. Jessmon uh, has the ability, uh, the skill Safety Guard, and he can use it on himself and Gunkumon. Uh, it can only target one Digimon at a time, though, so you gotta remember that. Uh, he usually uses it on himself. I believe he uses it on himself in this fight. Which basically leaves him on 1 HP uh, 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 when he gets hit with like a deadly move. So for example, you get him to 1 HP, uh, he will survive the hit. So, which is okay. Uh, then there's his two special skills. Uh, one that hits the Digimon four times in a row. And the other one that makes him invincible for one turn and can counter attack any attack while the buff is active. He can heal himself with at rain Pull relief move. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> so, so I'm guessing what they tried to do here was he used safety guard and then he uh, healed himself. But I never, I never let him get to that point. <laughs> so I kind of just kill him as soon as quickly, as soon as possible. Uh, once you've dealt with uh, Jessmon, you have to deal with his master Gankumon. And Gankumon has two special moves. One that hits uh, Digimon for four hits, uh, a bit stronger than Jessmon's move. The other move hits all three active uh, battle members with a high critical hit rate, but has an accuracy of 70%. He can, all, he, he can, also, he can also heal himself uh, to full health with Hina Kam, Kam Mu HQ. Uh, he won't tend to use that very often. If anything, he'll, he, he won't use that a lot, I don't think. Uh, he has also Walking Palm 3 and Meteor Palm, Meteor uh, 4, which you can deal with, uh, in my opinion. Not that difficult to, to deal with, uh, compared to the uh, Crusader, Ma Crusader Mon fight beforehand. Anyway, after that, uh, we're gonna give this one in, and I believe the next fight is, yeah, this is the last fight. It is in the Valhalla servers. Um, we've been to the Valhalla servers before, and it is Gallantmon, Omnimon, and Alphamon. Gallantmon, Omnimon, and Alphamon. These guys were so hard. I had to basically sit for like two, three hours one day, grinding to level 99, because there was no way I was gonna beat these guys on on just not grinding, because. Man, these guys are tough. I I tried to fight them, uh, just just like with the team that I had right now, but I just couldn't do it. So instead, I just went off screen. I grinded a little bit, and I got some interesting new Digimon as well, uh, with it as well, which is really cool. I like that. Uh, as you can see, this is where I was cut. This was actually recorded like about a couple of days. No, I recorded this today. Uh. Today is the 27th. Yeah, I, I recorded this today, uh, this fight, so it's fresh in my mind. But the reason why I you're gonna see a couple of uh, different Digimon here 
in under zero you're gonna see uh i got a contours one uh, i believe i've got some other digimon as well but i'm not really sure but anyway let's go into the strategy gallimon omnimon and alphamon if one of the royal knights dies uh they will trigger a inheritance boost which basically increases one of their step one of their other digimon's stats so for example if gallantmon dies uh it triggers gallantmon's inheritance which means or uh, all the remaining digimon gain a boost in attack for omnimon uh the digimon uh the remaining digimon get a boost in intelligence and for alphamon the remaining digimon get a boost in defense Gallantmon can use Burst Flame Free, Meteor Fall Free, Guard Charge Field, and Critical Charge as its as its moves. Uh, it also has uh, two special skills: Shield of Just hits one Pi member for moderate damage, while Lightning Joust deals heavy to one party deals heavy damage to one Pi member. I apologize; it's not really showing any of the. Uh, Battle animations. The reason why is because I accidentally I was grinding beforehand and I turned off the uh, what's the word I'm looking. I turned off the uh, the battle animations for grinding because otherwise it would take too long. So I turned them off and I forgot to put them on for the fight. But it doesn't matter. I've done that before. I I put my I put my hands up. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, Alpha One also has uh, abilities like we've seen it before. But Blade of the Dragon King. Uh, does three to six hits on one pie member and sword digitization does neutral magic damage to all pie members and has a five percent charge of causing death he also has the attacks power energy mark rush free mental charge field and speed break field omnimon has the uh, has the attack saint knuckle free holy light free attack charge field he has two special skill he has two special skills supreme cannon which is a water water magic what a magic attack which hits one member and transcendent sword which is a physical move that hits all party members on one in one use uh it can only be used after finally final holy light the final holy light move is unique to this version of omnimon it increases his attacks uh, speed and critical uh hit ratio he only uses it if he's the last digimon standing in battle so it's best to kill Omnimon first or second to avoid dealing with this move. I believe I kill uh, Alphamon first and then Omnimon so Gallantmon is left uh, I believe so yeah that, that's gonna be the end of that. I believe I have one other clip I'm gonna show after the credits and that is me or maybe during now because considering that I'm talking over a blank screen right now but i show off that with that i can now digivolve both metal gurumon black metal gurumon and black wall greymon into uh omnimon zwat so yeah that's cool so thank you guys for watching today's part i hope my commentary was uh easy and concise to understand if not, you can always check out the uh, guide. I'm gonna leave a description. I'm gonna leave in the description a link to the guide so you guys can follow it. And uh, so I'll see you guys in the next part. I believe in the next part I'm going to be moving on with uh, the main mission. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, and of course subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys later with some more Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Peace.